I'm Nicole Cook. I'm an assistant professor here at Gitzlis. Uh, my primary research area is human information behavior. So I study how people seek, use, and sometimes avoid information. Uh, another area that I concentrate in is distance education, and I also concentrate on diversifying the profession, so serving diverse populations, uh, investigating marginalized groups, and, and things along those lines. I was a practicing librarian for about 15 years. I started out in children's services, then I moved into a medical library, and then for the bulk of my career as a practitioner, I was at an academic library in New Jersey where I specialized in reference and instruction. I needed to get a second master's degree to get tenure at the job that I was at. And so the degree that I did was in adult education, but I did it all via distance. And that was not the best uh, experience for me and I disliked it quite a bit. So in terms of inspiration, I was thinking, you know, there has to be a different or better way to promote distance education and to actually implement distance education for those who were uh, taking that route to pursue their education. So that was really the point at which I said, okay, I'm ready to make a change and now I have something that is so personally interesting to me that I can spend the next four or five years trying to investigate that and trying to really uh, make that the next part of my life's work in terms of doing research um, and getting that degree. Once I went into the PhD program, I was introduced to information behavior, again, how people uh, seek and use information. And I was introduced specifically to the work of Elfrida Chapman, who is legendary in the field, has since passed away, unfortunately, but her work was really about marginalized populations and how to better serve them. And so with her work, that really gave me an opportunity to kind of merge several of my interests. Um, information behavior, distance education, and also diversity issues. One of my um, real passion areas is teaching librarians how to teach. So I was also a professional trainer before I came to Gisless, and I really think that it's an important skill for aspiring librarians to be able to present themselves effectively in the classroom and also at the desk. And that is somewhat of an acquired skill. Some people have natural speaking abilities, others of us have to work at it, um, but I think it's an important skill because there are very few jobs in libraries now where you won't have to do instruction at, at some level. Another new class that I've been able to uh, get the green light on, if you will, and begin developing is information services to diverse populations. Uh, that will be a new class coming in the fall of 2013. And that really is talking about all sorts of diverse populations that librarians may see in their communities. So this is talking about racial and ethnic populations. This is also talking about the physically challenged, uh, the disabled, senior populations, any type of population that might require a little additional knowledge, something that maybe you didn't cover in library school or something, a population that you're not already familiar with. In terms of the impact of my work, um, I see my work going in a lot of different directions. Uh, my, one of my primary goals is to impact the profession of library and information science, uh, not only by preparing that next level or that next generation of librarians, but also to be able to diversify the profession at the ranks of LAS faculty. Um, one of my motivators is the idea that if I'm able to be in the classroom at a library school and instruct graduate students, that will give them a model and that will give them some type of example to then be able to go into their diverse communities and be able to appropriately ser serve those communities. With my work with online education, um, I'm hoping that that work will have some impact on higher education in general. We are doing more and more in terms of online education in all areas, not just LAS. Hopefully on the research end, uh, by publishing on these areas, I hope to impact higher ed in that way. And, and really, uh, as an extension of that, be able to tell higher ed what LAS does, specifically in terms of distance education, but I want them to know more of what we do, understand what we do, and understand that we really do have a place in higher education and really can contribute to that interdisciplinary conversation.